Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started using the Infragistics Word Library APIs. Now in this video, just imagine, um, you know, I'm going to just take you through a simple walk through the basics on how to create a document, how to write it to disk, and then how to fire it up and launch it within Microsoft Word. So every time a new type of library comes out that has to do with creating some kind of document or file, so something like Excel, a PDF, or in this case Word, I kind of like to make some samples or go through the documentation to look at um, just the easy ways of getting started and then I usually build upon that. So let's take a look at some code here. So I have some code here that will display or that will show you how to get started with this. But one of the things that you need to do is I have a Windows Forms application here and what I'm going to do is show you these two references that were added. So I had to add the Infragistics Dot documents dot io and the infragistics dot documents dot word so you might have different numbers here like infragistics two or three um, then the volume number might change as the years go on but it's basically the same for now and if anything you should always look at the documentation to just make sure that um, you know you have the right assembly references because who knows year, a couple of years down the line this may change you know we may come out with something different or we might refactor the code in such a way but just always look at the docs but for now these are the two references that you want to add just to create word documents just plain old word documents and nothing else no grids no other controls alright so the first thing that I usually do is declare a file name um, you know you could come up with whatever scheme naming convention or whatever it is that you want to come up with and I usually just dump it in the applications running directory but you could place it somewhere else or you could provide your end user with a file save dialog that you want to do something like that usually that's more elegant but I'm just doing this as an example and I just hard coded a name for the file alright now to get started you want to basically instantiate a doc a word document writer instance here and you want to use the um, static method the create from the word document writer class and then you pass in the path to the file and then a couple of properties that we can set on the word document writer instance that we have here such as the unit and we set its unit of measurement dot inch but there's several other variations here as we look at the IntelliSense centimeter inch point and twips twips are also referenced here remember the good old VB6 days with using twips um, then there's document properties such as a title so for example document properties you'll find something like you know the uh, author categories comments company these are all like those properties that when you right click on a document and get its properties you'll see a list of these items so if you want to fill it out and create your document in a way where it's professional where all these properties are explicitly set that would be a good thing to do and this is where you access them um, then what you want to do is you want to so the way this API works in this forward only streamer mode so this forward only streamer mode technique of creating documents basically dumps everything directly to disk without placing it in memory so it's not like an object model that's that floats around in memory and you populate it and then you save it out so essentially it's not like that it's essentially where you start creating paragraphs you dump stuff in the paragraph then you end the paragraph you start something you end something that's kind of how it works so you see how we have a start document and an ends document and we have a start paragraph and an ends paragraph so it's, it kind of feels like you're creating XML essentially right you're creating a start tag and an, you're putting some stuff in there then you're ending it and then you're ending the entire document that's kind of how it works so that's that's basically the idea behind it. so if you can visualize the nested and hierarchical nature of XML where starting and ending tags and stuff in the middle that's basically how this works but within procedural code so here what we're doing is we're starting the document starting a paragraph and then we're adding some text I'll show you some other videos where you could add other type of objects like tables and images then we're adding a new line Then here's how you add a hyperlink let's take a look at the add stuff so if I let's just explore the add stuff So add anchored picture or anchored shape, empty paragraph. So there's a lot of things that you can add. And I'm, as I scroll through some of these, you know, you could add a table, add table cell. 
So there's quite a few things you can do here. So just to give you an idea, a preview of the stuff to come. So then you end the paragraph in the document, then you close. And then what I'm doing is just process.start the path and file name. So that way, whatever program is registered in your registry, with, ever, with that file extension, it will launch with the appropriate program, in this case, Microsoft Word. So if I run this application and click this button, you'll see that it immediately creates the file and launches it. Now here we have a working hyperlink that when I click on it, it will take me to infragistics.com. So that's the very basic info that you need to get started to create a Word document. And again, if you use like the the grid word writer, then you know that will do it all for you. But I think it's always a great idea that you learn the APIs of whatever document types you're creating, such as Excel, PDFs, or um, you know Word documents. So that way, you can further customize the exporting process. And you could also just not even export the grid. I mean, there's other cases where you might want to just grab data directly from someone's account information and then just dump it into a document. So this is where knowledge of the APIs helps. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.